count it, that's yeah, a yeah, big yeah. number. Hey, foreign cars, foreign, foreign seats with the foreign leather. Yeah, yeah. Foreign number, put the card in the ATM in the set era. Yeah, flex mode, this ain't Southwest, this a jet. I ain't gotta shut the cell off, cause the iPhone don't got a jet mode. Bad be best though. If you wanna come, let's go. We ain't going nowhere special. I just wanna see more dress though. Hit you throwing, I'ma catch those. Mexican dummy pesos. Hit you sus, I'ma place those. Number save, no name though. We need more, tell them we need more. Put numbers on the board, let them keep a score. Hey, 16 cars in my front yard. Hey, 30 on my wrist, but I point to God. Yeah, wrist man, check the wrist man, got him hot. Hey, man, can't ball like this, man. Lord, pass the big scam, but he stretch a distance. I'm talking a few hundred thousand yards, you just on your fifth grand. Run it up, 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 count it up. Hey, hundreds and fifties and twenties, no fives and no singles, don't count on them. Hey, she wanted like me, cause I blame she can't count on him. She try to be nosy and hit up my ex, she like, girl, you can count on him. Hey, hey. Cause I'm going big, 
Peep, 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 love. Time to bring the bass down. Swear I'm going big like a lineman. She want to bring the limes in. She want to pull up to the crib. We can't dine in. Up right away. Couldn't even get a vine in. Straight with the money we aligned in. Tell me how they broke trying to chime in. Jesus watching over here in diamonds. He the only reason why do not get violent. Hey, cause he gave me patience. Hey, swear this don't make sense. Hey, when you making bands can make fans. Cause I know they trying to shit like rape bands. Got a bad little shorty waist in. And I own it, I ain't gotta pay rent. Hey, I know we the ones that ain't them. Put both hands together and I'm saying amen. Cause I'm going big, going, going big. Everywhere I go, they know the click. Way too many wins, they know the shit. They was hating, know they sick. Acting like they know me. Cause I'm going big, going, going big. Everywhere I go, they know the click. Way too many wins, they know the shit. They was hating, know they sick. Acting like they know me. Cause I'm going big, going bigger. Postmates, how I deliver. My game too cold, made a shiver. But I'm still a hot boy. Cool it down, let it simmer. Hey, see a man, got him better. Can't stop the shine with a dimmer. Only what I get her, and she let her call me baby, but I do not need a setter. Uh, see me dip, yeah, I'm saucing. People let the bank see me often. Let the money run, it's a faucet. She gave me the that's a faucet. Took over the game, now we all in. I was down in the chips, then went all in. Throwing up the game, ain't no vomit. Make my mama stop working, that's the promise. Going big, going, going big. Everywhere I go, they know the click. Way too many wins, they know the shit. They was hating, know they sick. Acting like they know me, cause I'm going big, going, going big. Everywhere I go, they know the click. Way too many wins, they know the shit. They was hating, know they sick. Acting like they know me, cause I'm. P -p 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 love. Time to bring the bass back. Happy to be on hand. I'm Brandon Gunn with Charles Davis. And before we kick, partner, your keys to the game, please. Well, my keys are on the defensive side of the ball for both teams. And the big one, making sure you avoid giving up the big play. These safeties are going to get tested all game long. Their job, keep the ball in front of them, tackle people, make them run extra plays in order to try and score. Now here's Bryant to kick it away. This is taken at the three. And he'll take this across the 25. Couple extra yards up to the 27-yard line. Check out! 
Here's the first carry for Le'Veon Bell. He takes this for three to the 29. They tried a quick hitter inside, but that one was swallowed up because what they're hoping, those big defensive linemen will take the bait and move laterally and open up a crease that they can run through. Didn't happen on that play. From the 29, Luck, and this one caught by Travis Kelsey. And he'll get it out near the 40 to the 39. Nine yards to pick up there, and it's a first down. Many different ways to create space, but on that play, he did it with that big, wide body of his. Didn't get a whole lot of yardage on the play, but it did what it was supposed to, pick up a first down. A run there on first down, and a pretty good one of five yards, so make it second and five. Five yards on the carry, good pickup on first down. After the pickup of five, here's second and five. Now Luck. And he bats it away, and it falls down incomplete. The all-pro linebacker, Luke Keekley right there on the coverage, stride for stride. When you see passes knocked down by those guys I call the frustrated fullbacks, the linebackers, you know that in their zone coverage, they were able to drop, see the ball thrown, and react to it very quickly. They come up now, third and five, following the incomplete pass. From the gun, here's Love. Found his target, it's Anderson. And taking it across midfield and just shy of the 40. It'll be a pickup of 16 and a Dolphin first down. Has a pretty good throw on the curl route there. Third down and they pick up a first. Defense should be aware for that, right? They should be aware, but it was so hard sometimes. That's not easy. Because <laughs> when, they, when they sell that route really well, you think they're going upfield and they curl back, show their numbers to the quarterback, and complete the play. Now Bell hit. He lost the football. But I think a Dolphin was able to fall on it. Yes, they'll keep possession here. Wow. That ball gets knocked free. But a teammate comes along and scoops it up. Almost like it's almost like baseball. Guys at bat, people on base in scoring position. One guy doesn't get them home. The next guy comes through and picks him up. And avoids the turnover. A nice run there, nine yards, and it'll be second down. The impressive opening drive continues and just space being created by those guys up front. We're seeing this the same way, aren't we? We are seeing an offensive line as this game gets started, as it starts to unfold, that they are dominating the line of scrimmage. Bell. And all the way down inside the five to the four. 16 yards, a first down. I know every time we watch Le'Veon Bell play, we think about him making people miss the hesitation move. But you remember, he came out of Michigan State as a bruiser and a thumper, and he still has those capabilities. At 225 pounds, an underrated part of his game. Now Jones, and he is in. Touchdown, Miami. Taking it in from four yards out. And the Dolphins take it right down and score on the opening drive. Zerline good with a PAT. And it's now a 7-0 game. Morstead out now following the touchdown to kick. And this will not be returnable. It's out of the back of the end zone for a touchback. carry here for Todd Gurley and he'll wind up with about six up past the 30 to the 31 they'll come up now second and four from the 31 they run it's Gurley and some space here and he'll be taken down but not before they work it across midfield that one, a gain of 20 in a first down. So on the heels of the run by Todd Gurley, another first and 10. Now a handoff here to his running back. And running room scarce here. He's going to be stopped in his tracks at the line of scrimmage. Call it no gain on the play, and it'll be second down. Throwing on second down. Breeze. And oh, this 
just taking him one hand and what a catch. And he's got another first down as he's brought down at the Dolphins' 25-yard line. What a catch and one-handed, and I'm starting to lose my awe about the play, and maybe I shouldn't. How much of this is the player? How much of it is the glove? And those gloves. And Gurley fumbled it. Gurley fumbles the football. It's loose. And this is picked up by the Dolphins. And a return will stop right around the 25. Often on fumbles, you look at the guy who coughed it up and say, geez, what did he do? But hey, let's tip the cap to the defense here. Not a problem at all, my man. I'm not going to tip it. I'm going to dock my cap to him. Congratulations. Big time play. Knocking it free and creating something good for your team. And they'll get this well past midfield before being stopped just before the 35. 39 yards there. A big one. So how about that for a chain mover? They're all the way down inside the 40 now for first and 10. Now bow. And just no chance of turning the corner. He can only get back to the line of scrimmage. Second and 10 coming up. Perfectly designed blitz right there. They took that one from the grease board to the field because they were able to free up their linebacker to get into the backfield and spill the play. Officially nothing on that last run. They'll try again second and ten. Out of the shotgun. It's Bell. He'll be brought down on the 30-yard line after a gain of six. And there we saw one of the downsides of blitzing during a rundown because sometimes you get out of your gaps. You don't fit the run quite as well because you're headed towards the ball carrier with abandon. From the gun on third down, Rock. He gets it to Brown. Good play. And he will have a first down at about the 21 yard line. Now a first down carry by Bell. Sharp move, but can't find much space. Drop just inside the 20. Three yards on the pickup there, and it'll be second down. And that's one of the reasons you like to blitz even on rundowns. It confuses the blocking assignments. It doesn't allow those offensive linemen to get up to the second level. On second down, it's Bell. And he swallowed up right near the line of scrimmage. The tackle goes there to Linval Joseph. Throwing on third down, Locke. Open man is Anderson. And he will take it in for a Dolphins touchdown. From 19 yards away. And the Dolphins are able to extend that advantage. I know these wide receivers are about flash and dash and high-flying plays, but a good number of them played running back at some point in their career, and that's how they finish off a lot of their big plays, run after the catch. And this time he finishes off the big play in the end zone. This one fielded at the five. And a good return. He's across the 35-yard line, right around the 36. The offense now at the line, ready for their next drive. Already down two touchdowns here in the first half. This becomes a pretty important drive, doesn't it? It certainly does, and a lot of the teams script plays. We know that, right? They, they have a script to start the ball game. And typically those scripts go between 12 and 24, 25 plays. Down two touchdowns early, probably not very deep into their script. I think that they'll stay with it. I don't think they'll abandon it just yet and try and generate some offense on this drive. Anything, at least three points get that zero off the board. Throwing on first down, but this one winds up to be incomplete. An incomplete pass on first down. That leads to a second and ten. Now Gurley. And they'll wind up getting this to the 37. Gain of nine. They'll try and pick up the first with Gurley. And he picks up the first before he's taken down at the 29. Two minutes to play. First half, it's 14 to nothing. A reminder that when halftime rolls around, Jonathan Coachman will have all the highlights and analysis of this first half of play from our studios in Orlando. You know, Pat
pass complete here to Sanders. Stopped at the 24-yard line after a gain of five. Five yards on the catch there, brings up second down. Looking to throw again on second down. Breeze. And he's going to be stopped up right at the line of scrimmage. Now the old pass completion for no gain, not something you want to call up out of the playbook too often. Yeah, most offensive coordinators don't have that on their play sheet, so they've got to go back and scramble after this one. But right now with what they're telling receivers about making sure you take care of the ball in open field, sometimes the fighting for extra yardage doesn't come as a result. That and good tackling can lead to no yards gained. And no move to get the offense off the field. They're going on fourth and five. They're running with Gurley. And he won't get there. They stop him a few yards short of the line to gain. Todd Gurley unable to get it past the line. And the Dolphins' defense is able to hold. The Dolphins at the line ready for their next drive. It's been a good first half so far. They're up 14 to nothing. Points here. They could really put them in command before intermission. Yeah, and it's all well and good what they're seeing and how they're feeling right now. But it's the NFL. How many times have we watch 14 to nothing leads evaporate and quickly? So how, do we, how have we seen them combat it? Continue to run your offense, but don't back off at all. Don't start looking at the clock. Don't start thinking about, hey, just take care of the football. Keep attacking. Usually the best way to maintain control. They try to throw on second down, but this one is incomplete. That pass just a little bit off. It looked like maybe he tried to force it in there. Game speed, always different, no matter what you do in practice. You can't simulate it, right? So your decision-making, everything has to be a little bit quicker. Sometimes it can throw you off until you adjust. Now a third down throw, but it misses the target incomplete. It is tough to complete pass against zone defenses. The windows that you see open, they shrink pretty rapidly. How about being able to hit a moving target against a zone before the next guy can get there and make a play on the ball? Not easy for any quarterback, no matter the situation. And there, the defense won the battle. The offense back out there at the line, ready for their next drive. And you're under a minute to go in the half, a first half that hasn't been particularly kind to you. How do you think they'll play this? Well, I think the smart approach is to run out the clock, lick your wounds at the half, and see if you can come up with a strategy to play better in the second. But it's also something to challenging your offense right here. You know, hey, guys, you help dig this hole. See if you can get us out of it a little bit before the half runs out. Let's go make some plays. Throwing again on second down, but this time it's incomplete. Didn't have a receiver open downfield as it turned out. Couldn't even find his outlet, man, because of the coverage. It's way too tight. Unable to find anyone open. Breeze looking to throw on third and two. And they'll set up the screen to Gurley. And he's got the first down as he's up to the 45-yard line. Now Breeze on the bootleg. Sanders has it over the middle. Uh, he's got this to the 30 before being taken down. 25 yards that time. Now Breeze. And that's going to be incomplete. 12 seconds left. Ball on the 30 as they come up second and 10. Again, it's Breeze. And that is incomplete. Seven seconds remaining. Now a timeout taken. Perhaps a chance for one more quick play and then another timeout if they hurry. We'll see. So on third down, the field goal unit will come out as they'll try to get three before half. And now they'll take a timeout defensively. After the second down play, they burn the timeout making him sweat out the final few ticks here in the second quarter. Now Matt Bryant on for the field goal. It'll come from the right hash. It's a 47-yard attempt. And Bryant missed it. Ooh, no good. Wide to the left there for Bryant. Well, not the best first half facing this deficit, but at least they did put three on the board before half. Yeah, it's a little bit like that stormy, cloudy day, and the sun peeks through just for a second. They saw the sun there. They're hoping to see a little bit more of it in the second half. Good starting field position for the Dolphins as they have it first and 10. They'll start out on the ground with Bell. And this winds up a gain of four to the 41. 
So we come upon halftime with our score 14 to nothing. As we'll send you cross town to our studios here in Orlando and check in with the coach at our EA Sports Halftime Report. The Dolphins in front, and they'll be in possession of the football first as the second half gets started. And he'll get across the 20 before he's brought down at about the 23-yard line. The offense now at the line, ready for their next drive. They come out here with a zero on the scoreboard. What was said in that locker room? That's what I want to know. I would love to have been in there because we often have the feeling that there's a lot of shouting, screaming, people upset. But typically, halftime locker rooms are a lot more clinical than that. And in this case, are they upset that the plays weren't working because of execution? Or did they think just they were just bad plays to call? Yeah. We'll find out pretty quickly here if they feel like they had something going, but they just need to do it a little bit better or not. Wolf up. Looking for Jones, and it's intercepted. Picked off by Tashawn Gibson. And a big turnover there as his guys will get the football. Brandon Gordon alongside Charles Davis. And before kickoff, Charles, quickly, your keys to the game. Well, partner, I could give you the standard ones, turnovers, special teams play. But here's one that doesn't get talked about much anymore, and that's time of possession. Whoever controls the football, gives their defense a break, and takes care of business, that's the team that's going to win this ball game. Morstead, the punter, out to kick it off. This is taken about seven yards deep. And no run back here. This will be a touchback, and it comes out to the 25-yard line. And not much to speak of. Call it a one-yard gain up to the 26. They tried a quick hitter inside, but that one was swallowed up because what they're hoping, those big defensive linemen will take the bait and move laterally and open up a crease that they can run through. Didn't happen on that play. On second down, McCaffrey. And he's taken down, but able to slip across the 35. Let's go, baby, let's go. 
Well, one unit I know you want to watch is that offensive line. If they keep clearing holes like that, it could be a long night defensively. No doubt about it, because when they are in sync, as we're seeing so far, where that continuity is there, and you can see that they're playing off of you. The Dolphins get there this time, and they bring him down. Off the edge, Jerry Hughes gets the sack. Hindsight is 20, 20 partner. Maybe they should have kept it on the ground again. Well, it almost looked like the O-line was run blocking again. I mean, they opened up a big hole last time. This time they opened up a hole, and the quarterback got sacked. Now left side on the swing pass. Nothing on the screen that time. Now it's third down. They tried to swing it out left into the flat, but the defense, they were very principled there. It felt very West Coast offense, didn't it? You know, you know their expression, right? On a West Coast offense, when they throw the ball, it's either going to be a touchdown or a check down. Meaning they like to press it downfield. If they don't have it, swing it out, which is exactly what we saw there. But how about the great pursuit and tackle to make a nice play? It's caught. Jones. And he's got another first down as he's brought down at the Dolphins' 45-yard line. As a general rule, offensive linemen like to know where their quarterback's going to be when he's setting up to throw the football. But sometimes they just have to get on the run, get on the move. He was able to do that on that play and picks up a first down with a nice throw. Now a first down throw for Newton. Over the middle, open is Thomas. Five yards on the catch there, brings up second down. One thing you're hoping for when you run drag routes, you're able to hit a receiver in stride, and he can pick up a lot of yardage after the catch. But in this situation, the defense was effective, able to stop him before he could get a good head of steam going. To throw again on second down. Newton looking deep for Julio. Looking for Jones, and it's intercepted. Picked off by Tashad Gibson. Certainly not how they envisioned ending their opening drive here in the first quarter. Too many ones in this play. First quarter, first drive, first interception thrown. And that last one, that hurts. Now a carry for the former Michigan State man, Le'Veon Bell. And he'll take this one up to about the 13. Credit the tackle to DJ Swearinger. I call that play a success. A nice inside run sets up a very manageable second down. A very solid gain on that play. On second down, it's Bell. And the second wave of tacklers is going to get him as they stop him behind the line. The tally there, minus two yards, brings up third down. And the big fella stuffed that one up in a big way. I think doubling him has to be a priority because you can't move up to the next level if you don't take care of him first. Here's Locke. Got his man, Robbie Anderson. Give him 12 yards there, and the Dolphins have a first down. After getting that turnover on the first drive of the game, you'd hate to just stall out the momentum, go three and out. They're able to avoid that there. And we talk about complimentary football all the time, but I think it's a little bit deeper than that. Defense went out, forced a turnover, gave the ball to the offense. It's now the offense's responsibility to pay that off for them, to show respect to them. Hey, you guys got the turnover? We appreciate it. They want to continue their drive. On second down now, it's Bell, and he'll be brought down right around the 37. A gain of five, good enough for the first down. A couple of nice carries back-to-back -back here, establishing the ground game a bit. Yeah, these are bare-bones runs now. I mean, they're getting substantial yardage, the kind of yards you're looking for, right? Let's go ahead and use a cliche. Stay ahead of the change, right? Five, more, five or more yards each time. That's what you're looking for in setting a tone and getting your offensive line going. Good sign on the opening drive. 31 yards there and a first down. So the big play changes the complexion of things. Here's first and 10 just outside the 30. They'll try the air now with Locke. To the right side, it's Kelsey. And he'll go down at the 26, following a gain of six. No score after one on EA Sports. Six yards was the pickup on the last completion, so here's second and four. Here's Bell. And he'll be tackled at the 23 after a gain of three. Brandon, all things considered, they have to feel pretty good about getting that type of a gain considering the blitz that they just had against them. 
They'll try and run for it with Bell. Now Bell hit. He lost the football. So it goes as a fumble, but the key thing, not a fumble loss. Yeah, that, that stat's big, isn't it? I mean, it, I remember watching teams play. The ball might be on the ground a number of times during the game, but the other team doesn't get it. That's a huge difference in the ball game. And in this case, they were able to retain possession. And just a couple yards there down to the 17. Doubling this guy has to be a priority before moving up to the next level because the big fella, he just ate that one alive, just stuffed it. In fact, before the game, he was talking to us, and he's like, hey, these pants make me look fat. And we said, nah, man, you're just a whole lot of guy. He is at well over 300 pounds. He's a big man. Give him 14 on that one and a first down. Well, they're piecing together a nice drive to start this one. Seems pretty scripted and pretty successful so far. And I think they did it without our help. Because you remember when we sat in with the, in the production meeting with them to talk about this and, hey, you know, how are you guys going to come out of the gate? And he takes it into the end zone for the Dolphin touchdown. A three-yard touchdown run. And they are able to strike first here on their opening drive. And he was excellent on that drive. He deserved to be the one to get across the chart. Oh, I agree with you totally. A workhorse on the drive. And how about that last decisive run to punch it in? Zerline connects on the extra point, And that makes the score 7-0. This is taken at the three. And he'll take this across the 25, a couple extra yards, up to the 27-yard line. The Titans' offense set to begin the drive. They had the interception last time. It led to the opening touchdown. So now 7-0 to score as they start first and 10. He's going to air one out. Trying to get it to Robinson, and it's intercepted. Picked off by Harrison Smith. So that's back-to-back -back drives where they're throwing an interception. Ordinarily, we look at the offense and say, what's going on with your scheme? Maybe we should look at the defense and just give them a whole lot of credit. They've got them frustrated right now. To throw is long. And he whips that one incomplete there. His favorite target, Travis Kelsey, the intended receiver. That'll bring up second down. Now it's Love. Flushed out right. And seeing nowhere to throw, he chucks this one away from harm. Incomplete. Now it's third down. The turnover put him in great field position. They don't want to squander it with third down coming up. No, not at all. And you know what else you do? You make your defense mad. Yeah. They got you the football, gave you a great opportunity. You got to cash in and get some points. Luck now to throw. This will be caught by Brown. And down inside the 15, shy of the 10. Brown, his first catch. It's a first down. Two minutes on the clock, second quarter, 7-0 ball game. Fans, a reminder, I have a note card here that says ad-lib halftime preview. So I guess let's do just that as we'll hand things over to Jonathan Coachman in Orlando when this one reaches halftime. They do okay? And he'll take this into the end zone for a Dolphins touchdown. An 11-yard touch.
the only reason why I do not get violent. Hey, cause he gave me patience. Hey, swear it all makes sense. Hey, when you making bands, can make bands. Cause I know they tryna shit like rape bands. Got a bad little shorty waist in. And the only and I ain't gotta pay rent. Hey, I know we the ones that ain't them. Put both hands together and I'm saying amen. Cause I Alongside Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gunn, and Charles kickoff moments away. Quickly, what are you watching in this one? The offensive line for both teams, because both teams have a terrific pass rush. They've got to keep their passers upright. If they have a chance to do that, they can both thrive on offense and move the ball downfield. Set to go now on a beautiful sunny afternoon. And this one is underway here on EA Sports. Now the first carry for Le'Veon Bell. And that's not the start that he was looking for as he's going to be met and dropped behind the line. It's a loss of a yard there and now second down. A loss of a yard there to start out. That leads to a second and 11. Long. Trying to fight his tight end, Kelsey, and it's intercepted. LaMarcus Jordan with a pick, and he brings it back to right around the 26-yard line. The tight end, Kelsey, was the intended target. After the interception, here's Gaughan. Gets this out to Saquon Barkley. And the result here, a pickup of eight. Leaves him with two to go on second down. They'll give him eight on the play, and it's a second down. Gone. That's to the right side, complete to Kittle. And the game just keeps evolving. Big guys running those corner routes, so difficult to cover. They'll look to run with Ingram, and he is into the end zone for a touchdown. Mark Ingram taking it in, and they are able to strike first here on their opening drive. Well, you've got to like that start on both sides of the football. You force the three and out, and then you score on your first drive. Well, I know someone who doesn't like that start. Well, yeah, the other side. Yeah, they don't like that at all, right? <laughs> this is not the way it's supposed to be. But what you just described, that's team football, all right? When you get a three and out, you're supposed to take advantage of it on the offensive side of the ball. You said, thank you very much for getting us the rock. Let's put it in the end zone, and they did exactly that. The Dolphins at the line ready for their next drive. And following the interception, just any interception, are you a little bit more cautious when you start that next drive, or no, you just throw that out the window? I think you are. I don't think that there's any way you can run back out there and go, ah, totally didn't affect me. Let's just go ahead and be loose with the football again. You're going to take care of it, but you have to be careful about being too cautious because now you can't run any offense at all. Still want to attack. We'll see how they attack them here. Oh, you saw that one coming. It's intercepted. Thrown back across his body. Picked up by Harrison Smith. And he will take this one home. It's a touchdown. And this defense looking like they have come to play the pick six. And just like that, it's 13-0 early on. Well, go back with me to our training camp visit. What do we hear during these drills? Oh, pass. Yes. Ball. Ball's in the air. And then my favorite. Oski. That's the interception. <laughs> that means everybody finds someone to block. Block them legally. Stay on your feet. And they get it done. Touchdown. The offense back out there at the line, ready for their next drive. And job one here, Charles, just keep possession of the football. Two drives, two turnovers to this point. You're exactly right, Doctor. The Pocratic Oath first do no harm, and right now they're harming themselves on offense. I like that. No one is mistaking me for a doctor, though. But thank you, Dr. Davis. They'll come up now second and four from the 31. They'll run it with Bell. A gain of five, good enough for the first down. 
When you're down early, how do you get back in the game, maybe establish the run? I think they're trying to do that. Now I'm with you on that one, and what I like about the message is that there's no panic from the head coach. He's already told his offensive coordinator, let's run the football, let's get things settled down a little bit and find our way back into this game. That's going to go as a loss of four, and it'll be second down. Throwing on second and 14. Luck. And Luck will be intercepted for a third time. Picked up by Harrison Smith. And he will take this one home. It's a touchdown. From what we just saw, that's a great example of a team that was really amped up. They've been playing so well, yet they didn't get overexcited and have a bust on defense that gave up a big play. Instead, they created their own big play with a pick six. This one may be over. Yeah, it's just the first half, but that lead has swelled to the point where you're wondering if it is over already. The offense now at the line, ready for their next drive. And some dangerous territory. You're already down three scores. A three and out here or an inability to put any points up. This one might be over by half. Yeah, and what you also have to guard against is calling every play for a big shot downfield. You know, thinking you're going to get all these points back on one drive. You're not. And last time I looked, it's still the first half. I'm not saying you have ultimate patience here, but you also don't have to go ahead and force everything either. Now a man open down the middle of the field. And yeah, they'll get it all the way up about five yards shy of midfield. 22 yards there, a first down. Now a play fake, and it's locked. And his pass is intercepted for the fourth time today. Picked off by Harrison Smith. And an alley to run. The 30, 20, 10. And he will score. It's a touchdown. That pick six extending this lead even further. And boy, it's been a while since I've seen a team struggle this badly in the first half. I think all they want to do is get to the locker room, try and regroup, and come out and start the third quarter. But if things don't improve fast then, I think the backups get a lot of play in the second half. Goskowski the extra point. And a route is on here in this first half. The Dolphins at the line ready for their next drive. Typically down to the first half, I might say, oh, you at least need a field goal out of this drive. But they're down to the point where they need a touchdown, don't they? Yeah, and normally you know me. I mean, you've been around me for a while now, right? Unfortunately. Yeah, I'm sorry about that. But normally I'm the one uh, preaching patience. Yeah. You know, take your time. First half, you still got a chance. I think they're out of patience here. This has to be a drive that gets a touchdown. So if you're the play caller, you're going to that portion of the sheet that says big-time plays, specials, anything you can use to get yourself back into it. Now they face a third down and four after that incompletion on second down. A shotgun snap for Long. And it's complete to Kelsey. And he'll be taken down, but not before they work it across midfield. The 21 yards there as they convert on third. Dolphins first down. First and 10 at the 48-yard line. And this should be the final play before the quarter ends. An entertaining start to this one. More to come on EA Sports. It's Dolphins football here as we begin the second quarter as they've got it with a first and ten. On first down, Bell. Seven yards on the pickup there, and it'll leave them with a second and three. Even though they gave up more than they wanted to on that play, it actually illustrates how well they bottled them up throughout the game because that was his longest run of this contest. 
And now this pass brought in by Brown. And he's got this down almost to the 20 before he's dropped. 19 yards to pick up there. Move the chains. Slam route's effective no matter who's running the route and catching the ball. But when you have a receiver of that stature, you have to be a little bit more precise throwing it. You don't have the same catch radius with the bigger targets. Under pressure and down he goes. Luck is sacked. Sacked by Yannick Ngakwe, the former Maryland Terp. And plays like that really hurt play calling. They had a really nice gain on the previous play, but gave about half the yardage back on the sack. Excellent pressure up front. Nowhere to go with the football. Down he goes. After the sack on first down, Luck caught Kelsey left side. It's a pickup of 12, and that'll set up a third down. Let's just break this down and make it pretty simple. Key to the drag route, letting the play develop, finding the hole in the defense, and giving your athlete, yes, athlete, a chance to make something happen once he has the ball in his hands. Nowhere to escape, and he goes down. Getting the sack, the big D tackle, Geno Atkins. Great job defensively. I think he was trying to go through his progressions, find someone to get rid of the football before he knew it. He was on his back. So that just brings us right back to what you said in the beginning. A great job defensively. Nowhere to go with the football. That led to the sack. Well, that's something of a pick-me-up, and the offense certainly has struggled, but they do get the field goal before half to put three on the board. Yeah, you don't want to be shut out, but let's face it. Those three points, that's not going to solve all their problems either. Morstead, the punter, out to kick it off. That'll be taken in the end zone. And all that worked, but he stopped where he ultimately would have been, and he simply taken a knee, and that's the 25-yard line. The offense back out there at the line, ready for their next drive. And for them, a touchdown, their last go around. Obviously, they'll be hoping to do that again. And when you start plotting for this drive, when you start thinking to yourself, okay, what are we going to do? You don't go away from what you did before because that worked, but you have to be prepared for wrinkles and counters because you know they'll make some adjustments. Well, they had the run for no gain. Now they'll try again from the 25 on second and 10. Now this pass into the hands of Saquon Barkley. And he'll be upended at the 28-yard line. Just a three-yard gain there. Call it a three-yard gain. And that'll lead here to a third down. Two minutes remaining in this first half of football. We remind you that coming up at halftime, Jonathan Coachman will be alongside. He'll have highlights and analysis from Orlando of this first half. of Trying for Brown, and it's intercepted. Picked off by the all-pro corner, Josh Norman. And he will bring it back. It's a pick six and a Dolphins touchdown. I don't know who all is to blame there, but I love seeing pick sixes. Nothing like seeing someone pluck it out of the air and go the other way and see people try to change directions. Hard to do. So they throw the pick six. They'll get another shot at it now as this one's in the air. And a fair catch signaled for and taken successfully. Let's go. guys take over first and 10 at their own 25 yard line. The offense now at the line, ready for their next drive. In your face. They'll start out on the ground at Saquon Barkley. And he will lose yardage here back at the 23 yard line. Now the Dolphins going to burn the first of their timeouts as they'll talk things over prior to this upcoming second down play. First play of the drive goes the wrong way. Here's second and 12. Now it's gone. This is caught by Antonio Brown. A gain there of 21 yards. We're good. We're good. They'll fake the handoff. Now gone. And that is incomplete. Took a shot there on first down, but he couldn't reel it in. Well, we got a second. We remind you that the Madden Championship Series is back and better than ever. August 30th through September 1st, you can watch the top Madden competitors face off in Arlington, Texas for a total prize pool of 190 k Tune in and watch it. Twitch.tv slash EA Madden NFL. 2.30 p.m. Eastern, August 30th and 31st. And then 10.30 a.m. Eastern on September 1st to see if Skimbo can go back to back to back 
as a Madden Classic champion. An excellent pick up of 34 yards. A chance to really cap off a big first half here as they come up on first and goal. To throw is gone. To the end zone, but it's incomplete. Jeff Swain, the intended receiver. But it'll be second and goal. They'll try again here from the seven on second and goal. Again, gone. And oh, it'll be intercepted. Picked up by Harrison Smith. And a big turnover there as his guys will get the football back. Brandon, this is why golfers do their best to never count a score in their head before the ball goes in the cup. This looked like a slam dunk for points on this drive, didn't it? Instead, they throw an interception, and they're going to come away empty. Under pressure, and down he goes. Luck is sacked. The Dolphins going to take their second timeout as they stop it with 16 seconds to go in half number one. Sacks, a growing theme in this first half. This is second and long. Here's Lon. Flush to his right. Now he'll let it go deep right side. And that is incomplete. Seven seconds remaining. An incomplete pass on that last play, and that means they'll need to come up with something here on third down. That's not going to get it done. He'll come up well short of the first at about the 21. And they're going to take a timeout defensively. So with fourth down coming up, they go ahead and burn it and say, we'll see what happens. Try to get one more in here before the quarter breaks. And let's pin the mirrors back and go full strength. The final shot before break. Bell. And he'll be out of bounds at the 25-yard line. So we reach halftime in what's been a fairly one-sided game so far. As we send you to Orlando to check in with Jonathan Coachman at our EA Sports Halftime Report. Coach? That's fielded in the end zone. And the decision to bring it out will cost him about five yards as he'll get this only back to the 20. The offense back out there at the line, ready for their next drive. They had a big first half. Now they have a chance to add to that lead here in the opening possession of the second half. And everyone always asks about halftime adjustments, kind of the key phrase. What did you do at halftime? Well, the way they ran offense in the first half, I think they were very calm, congratulatory, but also what they were saying is don't expect them to be the same on defense. They'll be the ones making the adjustments. Let's see what they do, and we'll attack accordingly. And we'll see how they attack here. And we see another pitch and catch there to the running back. This position just continues to evolve. They become just as critical to the passing attack as a lot of receivers tight ends because their ability to make people miss in the open field can really generate big plays for an offense. And he'll be taken down, but not before they work it across midfield. A good pickup there, 26 yards. <laughs> Out of the gun, gone. He's got a team with complete. Four yards on the pickup, and it'll make it second down. Four yards on that last completion, so that sets up second and six. Goff throwing again. He'll get this out to Barkley complete. And the stop here will come at the 38-yard line. That one, a first down pickup of eight. Goff in the offense with a first and ten. And he's four for four now, throwing the ball to start the drive. Here's a ball thrown right side and complete. And they'll wind up getting this one all the way down inside the 20. An excellent pickup of 20 yards. From the red zone now, Goff escaping the pressure right. And he'll avoid the tackle there with a slide. He'll wind up getting nine after tucking it and running, so it'll leave him with second and a yard. Partner, he was going through his progressions. Not there, not there. After about the third one, he decided he better pull it down and run for it. And he slides down and avoids the hit for good measure. What? Wait, please. 
Here we go. Touch. Throwing again on second down. Golf. And this is going to be incomplete. He was looking for Mark Ingram there. And it's third and short. This will be play number eight here on the drive. It's third and a yard. From the gun, here's Golf. He gets it to Brown. Complete. Give him a gain of four. Able to convert. And that sets up first and goal now. Complete to Antonio Brown. First and goal at the five-yard line. And this will probably be the last play of the quarter. And that is going to do it for this third quarter of action. But we'll return with more after this. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. Two of their three red zone trips so far, they've come up empty on. They'll look to reverse that trend on second and goal. And he'll be stopped about a yard short. That's 20 goons and them ice cream whip triple school. I got three strikes, ain't got to lose. When it's all on the line, what you gonna do? Come on, I'm a highly favored. Don't wanna play me, uh. no conversation. Ain't got time for no debating. It's for the taking, no hesitation. Uh. Don't try my patience. I'ma pull out one for the set, boy, till there's nothing left. On a run to the bread until we all got them baguettes. Hear them footsteps coming, cause we coming for the check. We ain't gon' run, no, we don't hide. I can never switch, not a day in my life. Long as my dogs, they by my side. Yeah, we gon' ride till we die, die, die. We ain't gon' run, no, we don't hide. I can never switch, not a day. I'ma shine out, working hard. Yeah, I'm back on my grind now. Game on, took a loss, but I stay strong. Super Bowl rings, I just wanna play off. Gotta go hard, I can never play soft. Giant in New York, I run it back like Saquon. How fit to be the boss? Let me find out. My team ballin', you look like you need a timeout. I'm a star in the clutch, I'ma shine out. Working hard, yeah, I'm back on my grind now. Game on, took a loss, but I stay strong. Super Bowl rings, I just wanna play off. Gotta go hard, I can never play soft. Giant in New York, I run it back like Saquon. If you ain't a winner, then don't come round. On my way to another city, it's a touchdown. Under late, yeah, I gotta get it in a rush now. Let them hate, try to knock me down, but we got up now. You say that you ballin', keep it real, though. Hey, why I never saw you in the field, though? Hey, I make it look easy, it's a field goal. I've been grinding for a minute, and I'm still going. 
How fit it be the boss? Let me find out. My team bowling, you look like you need a timeout. I'm a star in the clutch, I'ma shine out. Working hard, yeah, I'm back on my grind now. Game on, took a loss, but I stay strong. Super Bowl rings, I just want to play off. Gotta go hard, I can never play soft. Giant in New York, I run it back like Saquon. How fit it be the boss? Let me find out. My team bowling, you look like you need a timeout. I'm a star in the clutch, I'ma shine out. Working hard, yeah, I'm back on my grind now. Game on, took a loss, but I stay strong. Super Bowl rings, I just want to play off. Gotta go hard, I can never play soft. Giant in New York, I run it back like Saquon. Moment like I've been in the gym, jumping all over hurdles. I'm evading the pit. Yeah, to hit with anybody. 
you take them, I can shake them. Yeah. I invite them to the fire, then I bake them. I'ma break them. I'm a Hall of Fame legend. They should go and hang my jersey. Yeah. Made to put them work. I don't think they really hurt me like yeah. Move the chains. I'm about to make a play. Suited up, yeah. you kicking off against me. Hope you ready, get it up. Yeah. I be booted up, popping out a sprinter or a truck. Uh. Whole team chasing bags while they chasing us. Yeah. Calling audible, I read the game. I think it's time to switch. Yeah. You get hit if I miss, then my teammates got the blitz. Yeah, yeah. move the chains. I'm about to make a play. Yeah. Move the chains, tell them get about the way. Yeah. Move the chains, I'm about to win the game. Run again. Move the chains, baby, tell them move the chains. Yeah. With Charles Davis, as always, I'm Brandon Gordon. Charles, you talk about storylines in this one. I think it begins and ends with our two quarterbacks, certainly two of the best in the business. And nowadays, I don't think you can get by for long periods of time without a top-flight quarterback. The way the game is played, with all the responsibility he has and how the game flows through him, if he's not on the top of his game, your team's not going to benefit at all. Gano out to kick this one away. This one fielded at the five. And he'll take it past the 25 and up to the 28-yard line. The Dolphins take over first and 10 at their own 28-yard line. Go! Ready! Right 25! Now the first carry for Ezekiel Elliott. Elliott a first down and more. And he'll cut it to the right sideline. And he's going to get this into enemy territory at the 45. That one 28 yards on the ground. A tough run by Ezekiel Elliott, the fourth overall pick in the 2016 draft. If you watch tape of him in college, you saw plenty of those runs because I know the highlights showed him in the open field breaking away from people, but that's how he wore down defenses. Those exact type of runs. Now Ryan. And there is Amari Cooper, his first catch. Six yards was the pickup on the last completion, so here's second and four. From the shotgun, a give to Elliott, and he gets it down to the 32. Seven yards there and a first down. From the 32 now, here's first and ten. From the gun, it's Ryan. To the right side, it's Kelsey. 18 big yards on that one, and a Miami first. Our game not even two minutes old, but a quick red zone opportunity. It's first and 10 at the 14. Here's Elliott, and able to surge forward for about five yards down to the 10. A quick burst there, and he nicely bit off a pretty decent game. It's a game of five, brings up second and five. 
at the 10 yard line. Ready for 80. I'm 25. 54. Touch. They'll run it for the first time with Alvin Kamara. And he'll take this into the end zone for a Dolphins touchdown. A 10-yard touchdown run. And they are able to strike first here on their opening drive. Extra point by Marr, up and good. And it's now a 7-0 game. Following the touchdown, here's Marr to kick it away. First carry for the legend, it's Bo Jackson. And he's upended after a gain of two out to the 27. Well, we saw him there trying to get it to the outside, trying to get to the perimeter, but not a whole lot of room there. But there's got to be one positive to that. If you keep moving laterally, creases tend to develop as the game moves on, and they can run it back inside later. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. They run on first down with Jackson. And he is going to lose yardage here. It's a loss of four on the first down play. An interesting and intriguing decision there defensively because they kept extra DBs on the field despite seeing the multiple tight end look that came out for the offense. I thought they were going to switch out of it. I didn't know if they felt they didn't have time or what the case was. Well, in any event, the extra speed allowed for great penetration as they stuffed that one behind the line of scrimmage. Mahomes firing complete, and he's got another first down as he's brought down at the Dolphins' 40. So now first and 10 as they've crossed into Miami territory right at the 40. Throwing now is Mahomes. And a big loss here as he's taken down. Give the sack to Fletcher Cox. You never want to give up a sack. And from the O-line's perspective, they hate it for several reasons, especially because they felt like they let little brother down back there in the pocket. Oh, no doubt. They have a ton of pride, and they go into every job wanting to keep that guy clean. They want that uniform with no grass stains, no dirt, nothing on it. But it's really, really difficult. You're talking about some terrific athletes who are trying to put him on the ground. He's going to sling this deep downfield. Got a man. It's caught inside the 10. Mahomes finding Hill for a big play. 49 yards. Well, make that now two completions for him on this drive. And these aren't ordinary completions. They're big ones. Yeah, these are the types that make a secondary talk to each other and not in a good way. Oftentimes pointing fingers. Hey, who's got him? Someone cover it. That type of indecision can open up to even more big plays. Working from the gun, Mahomes. Eluding the pressure right. And that one is incomplete. And it also concludes quarter number one. After one, seven nothing on EA Sports. They come up here with another shot from the six yard line and it's second and goal now. Looking to throw is Mahomes. Flushed out right. Toward the end zone, but that's going to wind up incomplete. Well, I like that right there. Not only was it the right play, throwing it away like that, frankly, I think it was the only play. Yeah, got outside of the pocket, realized he had nothing, just chucked it free. Yeah, lived to fight another down, right? Two incompletions, haven't moved him any closer, and likely throwing again, you'd have to think, on third and goal here. And it's intercepted at the goal line. Picked off by Marshawn Lattimore. And he'll bring it all the way back, just a yard or two shy of midfield. Cooper was the intended target. Earlier we mentioned the Madden Classic Championship. We also want to remind you that registration is underway for the opportunity to represent your favorite NFL club in the Madden NFL Club Championship. 32 of the best Madden competitors in the world will face off in the club championship final live from the EA Broadcast Center in December. Register today for a chance to take home a piece of the largest prize pool in MCS history. Folks, over $700,000. Visit MaddenChampionship.com slash compete by October 7th and receive a free Team Elite Fantasy Pack. Pressure from his right and he goes down hard. Flat 
is back. Defensive end Demarcus Lawrence applied the heat. Got to imagine the pass rush will be equally intense here on second down following the sack. It's second and 18. Here's Ryan. Over the middle, Amari Cooper. It's complete. It's a pickup of 12, and that'll set up a third down. Fired that one in there, able to make connection on a nice in route. With those faster passes and they're going that fast, any hesitation as a quarterback that the deflection, if you miss, might be bigger and lead to an interception? Yeah, and the deflection works both ways. Maybe a defender gets a hand in the way and it pops in the air, and sometimes you throw it so hard your receiver can't handle it, and he pops it up in the air for the defenders to grab as well. But a moot point there is they were able to connect, and they'll get this one to about the 20-yard line. 12 yards on back-to-back -back plays there, and that's another first down. Ryan in the offense with a first and 10, and he's a perfect 5-for-5 five five here to begin the game. From the red zone now, they'll look to throw. Complete the tight end, Kelsey. Chewing up big yardage. Another nice game there. This one goes for 20. Two minutes on the clock. Second quarter. 7-0 ball game. We remind you that coming up at halftime, we'll pay a visit to Jonathan Coachman. He's in Orlando, and he'll have our EA Sports halftime report. They'll try to run it in with Elliott, and he is in. Touchdown, Miami. Ezekiel Elliott taking it in. And the Dolphins are able to extend that advantage. Mar on for the extra point. And it's good to make it 14 0. Following the touchdown, here's Mar to kick it away. This will be fielded at the eight. Solid return, pretty good field position. They'll start at the 32 yard line. The Steeler offense here about ready for their next drive. And they're in a bind early here, down 14-0. Are you worried at this stage or still too early? You're worried. You're just trying not to transmit it to the rest of your team. You want to make sure that they stay positive. But at the same time, you're wondering, how are we going to move the football? What do we have on this play sheet that can work? Get back to basics is usually your answer. And make sure you find the guy who can move the ball fastest for you if you just get it in his hands. Yeah, still second quarter. You get points. And a big loss here as he's taken down. Fletcher Cox able to get in there for his second sack of the afternoon. Well, someone's been up to the task so far in this game. They are already up a couple of scores, Brandon, and guess what? I think they're just going to pin their ears back now and get up field and get after the quarterback. Been such an impressive first half to get that lead. On third and long, it's Mahomes. Catch there by Cooper. A good pick up there, 26 yards. Got to love the catch. I think you got to love the gloves as well. <laughs> yeah, these one-handed catches, that was great, and they're fun. they become a little more ho-hum, aren't they? Yeah, they really are, and I know that it sounds like we're taking credit away from the guys, and we don't mean that at all. They really work hard on this one-handed catch thing, but I think the gloves have to be helping in a big way. Now the Steelers use the first of their three timeouts as the stoppage will come with a little under a minute to go in this first half. Looking to throw again on second down. Mahomes trying to lay one up deep. This is caught. And into the end zone. Touchdown, Pittsburgh. Tyreek Hill, 53 yards. As they are now on the board here in the 
first half. Extra point try good by Gano. And that'll make our score 14 to 7. Gano now following the touchdown here to kick it away. That'll be taken in the end zone. And no run back here. This will be a touchback, and it comes out to the 25-yard line. The Dolphins at the line ready for their next drive. You're under a minute to go here in the half. Field position not really in your favor, but still time to try and move the ball and get in field goal range. Yeah, you've got the lead. It's a, definitely a thought. Let's go ahead and try and increase it. But at the same time, I don't like the odds. I don't like where they are on the field. Got the lead. They've done well in the first half. Don't mess it up and go into halftime looking at each other wondering what if. And the first play of the drive there is incomplete. That would have been a great catch, but it's real difficult to hold on to it because it was contested all the way. Would have been a great play if he'd been able to haul that one in. To throw once more on second and ten. Ryan. The tight end Kelsey has it over the middle. Now the Dolphins going to burn the first of their timeouts as they stop it here with just under 40 ticks to go in this first half. On first down, Ryan. Over the middle, Cooper with it. The Dolphins going to take their second timeout as they'll stop it with a little over 30 seconds to go in the first half of play. Ready, blue lady. 525. Hey, pick it up, defense. Let's go. Alert three. 22. Alert three. 39. 45. Throwing now, Ryan on first down. And that going to be incomplete. Too tough to hold on to that one. It's second down. Well, the incompletion, yes, but maybe here not the worst thing in the world? No, not on first and ten. Actually gives them a chance to regroup, relax just a little bit. They huddle up, talk it over. Then they get a chance to continue their drive. Here now is second and ten, again from the 41. Throwing again, Ryan. Caught, Kelsey, left side. Now the Dolphins will use the last of their timeouts as they stop it with 19 seconds to go in half number one. The last play on the completion got them half of what they needed. Now here's a tough third and five. Ryan will throw again. Cooper's got it, and they'll have it in the red zone before he crosses over out of bounds. It's a gain of 20 and picking up the first. The kick by Marr is good, and they will move up by 10 now, 17-7. to Well, what do you think? Maybe a little disappointment there. They had a pretty nice drive going at the end of the half, and they have to settle for three. Oh, well, definitely a little bit of disappointment there because when you kick a short field goal, you shake your head a little bit like, could we have done a little bit more? Could we have gotten one more shot to try and get six? But with what little time was left on the clock, I think it was a smart play. The Pittsburgh offense at the line to start their next drive. Time here for likely one play, then off to the locker room, and they're going to have some adjustments to make. They certainly will, and I think a lot of people are thinking to themselves, all right, take the knee, get out of here, regroup. But how will the head coach and his staff approach halftime? Will it be angry? Will it be clinical? And he's going to go down. Couldn't get a throw off with the pressure. Maybe that was for the best, as that brings us to the end of his first half of play. Welcome back. Halftime over. We are ready for quarter number three. Alongside Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gordon. Both teams appear ready for the fight ahead, and we resume action here in quarter number three. This one taken just inside the 10. 
And an excellent return there as he's up to the 35, but make it the 40-yard line. It's the third quarter, and they're down on the scoreboard. And while no one wants to hit the panic button just yet, points are a necessity on this drive. What a great way to get set up. So good starting field position for him here as they come up first and 10. On first down, Mahomes. Wide open, Amari Cooper. And yeah, he's going to be out of bounds, but not before he takes it inside the 40. Great way to start the drive. 20 big ones in a first down. So from the 39 now, they'll come up on a first and 10. Shotgun snap to Mahomes. And they'll have it in the red zone before he crosses over out of bounds. A nice gain of 21 yards. Back-to-back -back good plays have him on the move on first down. Operating from the red zone now, Mahomes. And he's going to take it in for a Steeler touchdown. From 19 yards away, as they are now just an extra point away from making this a three-point game. Great corner out there. Not only able to catch it, turn it upfield, and get into the end zone. It usually involves a little bit of an extra move, doesn't it? You've got to get them thinking that you're moving to the middle of the field, then you're breaking away to that corner. Boy, that was well executed. The offense now at the line, ready for their next drive. And they're not going to play this conservative, I don't think. They had the field goal last time, and they're up, but they're looking to put a drive in the end zone. Oh, I agree with you totally. No one goes out on the field and says, all right, let's just settle for three, except in certain situations, try to ice a game, that sort of deal. Most of the time, it's end zone, and that's what you're thinking, and I believe that's exactly what they're thinking as they begin this one. Yeah, no quarterback ever goes out there saying, hey, let's get three, right? <laughs> Not one that I've ever met. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. 15 yards on the play, first down. A first down carry by Elliott. T.J. Watt in on the tackle. This is what happens sometimes when you abandon the running game. It's hard to get back to it because once guys get out of that mentality of firing out and hitting people, hard to get them started again occasionally. 51, stop! Hey, Wahoo! Throwing on second and eight, Ryan. Oh, look at Thomas, wide open. And they're going to have themselves another first down as the tackle's made at the Steelers' 38-yard line. Operating out of Steeler territory now. Here's first and 10 at the 38. They'll try the right side with Elliott. Just a yard on the pickup there, and it'll bring up a second and nine. Here's second and nine, just a yard on that last run. From the shotgun, Ryan. Off to Thomas on the left side. And he's going to get this inside the 30. And they're going to have themselves another first down as the tackle's made at the Steelers' 27-yard line. Ryan now 13 of 15 passing. That's good for 87%. It's first and 10. Out of the gun, it's Ryan. And that is incomplete. He couldn't hold on through the contact. Brings up second down. I know at times people think we use it too often, but you've got to be able to throw guys open. And when you read zone, you've got to stick it in there before your receiver gets to the next guy in the zone. Otherwise, you bring him into the play. And that's precisely what allowed that defense to disrupt the pass. And some room to roll now. And he will take it in for a Dolphins touchdown. Ezekiel Elliott, his second touchdown of the afternoon. And the Dolphins are able to extend that advantage. Extra point by Marr, up and good. And the decision to just kick the extra point winds up successful. Following the touchdown, here's Marr to kick it away. This one taken just inside the 10. 
And a nifty return there as he's all the way up past the 40-yard line. It's the third quarter, and they're down on the scoreboard. And while no one wants to hit the panic button just yet, points are a necessity on this drive. What a great way to get set up. The offense back out there at the line, ready for their next drive. I guess they have to feel a little gratified to at least get on the board last time, but still work to do. No doubt about it. I wonder now if they're going to try to increase the urgency a little bit, maybe pump up the pace, maybe go two-minute. Who knows? Let's see what they decide to do. They're throwing to start the drive, but that one incomplete. He was looking for Tyreek Hill that time. And it's second down. Yellow! On the line, right? 54 miles. Let's get it together, defense. Let's get it together. Here's Mahomes to throw. His throw incomplete. Getting a hand in there and knocking it away, Eddie Jackson. When I watched that play, I thought about what my coaches have told me in the past. The biggest teaching point, get your head around. Locate the football so you can make a play on it while it's in the air. That's exactly what he did there. That was nice. Big play coming up. Here's third and ten. I would expect to see some pressure here. The pressure drops off as they'll look to throw. And it's complete to Kelsey. And he takes this one down almost all the way to the 30. And he's got another first down as he's brought down at the Dolphins' 32-yard line. They fake the give. Now Mahomes. And that's going to be incomplete. Yeah, that one sailed on him. You've got to make sure you give your receiver a chance to come down inbounds because they are very gifted. They'll make the circus catches, but if they make them out of bounds, that does you no good. Here's second and 10 now from about the 32. Mahomes to throw once more. That's out to Hill, right side complete. And he gets this one inside the 15, just a yard or two shy of the 10. That one good for 20 on the catch and run. I think that's a big pickup for a first down because when you run a drag route against zone, you're sometimes asking for trouble because you might run into a defender. Yeah, well, there they ran into a first down, executed it to perfection. Just a yard on the catch there. It'll be second and nine. And this should be the final play before the quarter ends. And that is going to do it for this third quarter of action. You are watching Madden Ultimate Team on EA Sports. To throw again on second down, Mahomes. That is caught. It's Juju for the Steeler touchdown. 10 yards on the touchdown pass as they are now just an extra point away from making this a three-point game. A lot of people might call this backyard football. Sometimes just understanding who you've got out wide and who you're going to throw it to. Give him an opportunity to go up and make a play even when contested. Looks like that one worked out pretty well. The trust factor in effect. This is taken at his four. He's up across the 25 and down at the 28-yard line. The Dolphins take over first and 10 at their own 28-yard line. The Dolphins at the line ready for their next drive. A little less than four minutes remaining, and the margin for error is small with this slim lead. Operate within your four-minute offense here, Charles? Definitely. Remember, the four-minute offense doesn't always correspond to what's up on the clock. What they need to do is play a little bit of keep away right now. Run the clock down. Make sure their opponent doesn't get the ball back. Their dream scenario, get enough first downs and make them eat up their timeouts so the game ends when you're kneeling down with the football. And to the 42-yard line here and brought down there. Four yards the pick up, first down. And the Dolphin first down. Ready, left 25. It's our time, it's our time. Wait, wait. Don't stop. Let's get it. They'll throw on first down with Ryan. To the right side and complete to Thomas. 
And they'll get him down after a pickup of eight, second and two. A gain of four last play. They double that here and get eight. Tell you what, he's been able to put the ball in some tight spots all game long. That throw, no different. Yeah, a lot of people would call it a gutsy type of a throw. I think he looks at it as, I can do it. So it's not that big of a deal to me, and I'm going to keep firing. On second down, Elliott. And he'll get it down to the 47 here. They'll get three as the drive continues. It's a first down. They keep on the ground with Elliott. The linebacker, Ryan Shazier, there to make the tackle. Now the objective there, I mean, yes, the positive gain, that's nice, but work some clock. Yeah, you're exactly right, but the problem for them is still within a possession, so they can't just sit on it running the ball. They'll have to find a way to throw it effectively as well. Three points separating these two sides with two minutes left to go in the fourth. So the Dolphins have it as we welcome you back in. They've got a second down now as they search for a way to get this one to the finish line. Now the Dolphins going to burn the first of their timeouts. That'll leave them with two remaining. We'll be back after this. I have to imagine this will be on the ground as well as they come up second and seven. Ryan. And this will be incomplete. Physical play on the football there, and it's second down. So he can't hang on, and as I watch that unfold, I remembered an expression that I've heard, maybe from you, I don't know, but you're going to get hit anyways, might as well hold on to the ball. Well, you know a coach said that, right? Yeah. Not an actual player. Not a chance at all. Way easier said than done. Now the throw on third down, knocked away and incomplete. Not only was the call spot on, how about the execution of that defense right there? The zone was absolutely locked up tight. He was trying to force it in there on third down. But if there's a time to force it, he felt like he needed to make a play, right? Yeah, exactly right. Third down, you got to try and find something. There's nothing available there for him. The Steeler offense here about ready for their next drive. And things are starting to move in the right direction. They get the touchdown last drive, then their defense gets them the football back. Yeah, now they have a chance to get the lead if they can put something together here. I'm eager to see how they decide to do it. Do they want to be methodical, or do they want to take the big strike and go after it right now? Throwing on first down, but this one winds up to be incomplete. After the incompletion, here's second and 10 from the 20. Now a desperation throw deep downfield. And that will be incomplete. Try to dial up the long way way out there, but it'll be third down. So back-to-back -back incompletions, now third and ten. And first things first, before you think about marching the ball down the field, you got to move the chains. You're exactly right. Got to get back into focus here. Get the first down. That's what's vital to them. And the Steelers on third down. They've been okay. Two for three thus far. This is third and ten. Back to throw. Mahomes. And oh, a crusher there as it's intercepted. Picked off by Marshawn Lattimore. And they'll start out with great field position at the 47-yard line in enemy territory. They'll run on first down. It's Elliott. It's a pickup of four, and it'll bring up second down. But they picked up a little bit of yardage there, and now, in this situation, should be in no hurry to run a play really fast. Let the clock wind down. Following the pickup of four, here's second and six. Again, it's Elliott. Oh, no, he lost the football. And it's picked up by the Steelers. And they will take over possession of the football at their 42-yard line. So the defense there, opportunistic. 
It's nice to give them credit, isn't it? Because so many times it's more a matter of what the offensive guy didn't do. He didn't secure the ball, didn't cover up. In this case, just give credit to where it belongs. Knocked it free, made a big play. Now he's going to get this all the way down inside the 35. A really nice gain of 25 yards. He'll get the first down and more inside the 20. And finally, wrestled down at the 11. Now the Steelers use the second of their three timeouts as they get the stoppage with a little over 50 seconds left to go in the game. To back good plays have them on the move on first down he's back to throw and oh a crusher there as it's intercepted picked off by Marshawn Lattimore and the return won't go anywhere they'll be back deep in their own territory at the two yard line The offense now at the line, ready for their next drive. And this one all over but the shouting, you might say. Now, there's one timeout remaining defensively, but probably no real need to use it here. Yeah, the only time they would use it, strictly for pride. They begin on the ground with Camara. And he's able to get him a small cushion before being taken down at the five, a gain of three. Now the Steelers are going to use their third and final timeout as they'll stop it with 40 seconds remaining in this fourth quarter. They run it again with Kamara. And he will take this up to about the eight-yard line. I guess the simple question, why not just take a knee there? I don't understand either why you would take any sort of a chance. We've seen it happen in the game of football. doesn't matter whether you've watched high school, college, or the NFL. Some people get a little greedy, try to get that extra running play in, and it can backfire on them. So he'll take a knee here to wrap this one up, and he's going to want to keep that game ball. He was sensational. So a victory here for the Miami Dolphins. And I tell you, this was a fun one, just a close game. Nothing comes easy in this league, as you know. They had to work for that victory. I've got to go back to what you just said. Nothing comes easy in this league. How many times have we talked to coaches prior to a game and assessed you know, the strengths, the weaknesses, the whole deal. Even in games when one coach was a decided favorite, what do they always say to us? But you do know, this is really a seven-point league. Seven points either way usually decides a ball game. We had exactly that in this one. And not only that, but this is a gutsy road victory, one they can hang their hat on. So that'll do it for us, for my partner, Charles Davis, and all the hard-working men and women on our crew. I'm Brandon Gaughan. You've been watching the NFL right here on EA Sports. With that, we sign off from Heinz Field. But I wouldn't trade I wouldn't with you trade. Early I'm up yeah. I can't spend the day with you I'm out of my business uh. I ain't getting paid with you nope. My color bright yeah. I ain't finna fade with you Man, I gotta come clean Like I'm made with you I've been on my everybody drop When I drop yeah. Look at shorty She uh. support uh. ride Lifting up Never not on my grind New York City time Another brother better You will never find I've been in my bag like groceries Competition shouldn't take shots Take notes, please Reporting live from the winner's side Ready to try, keep a different vibe Bitch, you down the ride, never tired You will never know, you ain't never tried Work it out, hit the gym, hit the field Hey yo, I need that Big chips, man, I need that Hustle hard 
on the job, you can see that. On my head is real good, we don't need your feedback. They clear the way with my crew coming through. What I do? Lace up the shoes, chase the balloons. What I do? Lace up the shoes, chase the balloons. Now what I do? Lace up the shoes, chase the balloons. Yeah. Beats, leave it in the street, the place on the news. What I do? Lace up my shoes, chase W's. Great colored coops. Oh no, no, I can't be number two. MVP the league most valuable. They sweet as apple juice. Talking trophies, I didn't grab the few. Can't match this attitude. I wear my heart on my sleeve, please. I move like the wind, can't catch this breeze, freeze. Stop you in your tracks, there's not no preseason. We seeking W's like Tupac used to throw up. Forget it, might as well forfeit your team, shouldn't even show up. What you wanna be when you grow up? They used to ask me. Naturally, I chose an athlete. Competition never matched me. We ain't go together. Like camouflage and polka dots. Focus on your position, just know your spot. Show don't stop, it's a long season. They planning on winning for the wrong reasons. Trying to get my number retired, can't let these frauds beat us. I figured out the recipe. Never let opponents get the best of me. I'm focused on my legacy. Big chips, man, I need that. Hustle hard on the job, you can see that. On my head is real good, we don't need your feedback. They clear the way with my crew coming through. What I do? Lace up the shoes, chase the blues. What I do? Lace up the shoes, chase the blues. Now what I do? Lace up the shoes, chase the blues. Yeah. Yeah. beats, leave it in the street, case on the news. Postmates how I deliver. 
My game too cold, made it shiver, but I'm still a hot boy. Cool down, let it simmer. Hey, see a man got.